everyone, Arlen here. Standing behind the camera has, has become my uh, habit with this little Easter chit chat series. And I'm coming to you today to reveal the Hutch decor, Easter decor, and then that pretty in pink corner cabinet decor. And I'll get you closer over there in just a minute. But a reminder of my dough bowl here and let's move on over to the hutch and we'll start at the top and i added put just sat one of the big eggs that i got from home goods this year up there on the top chris rigged it up for me in his way and you can always find a video for that for the way he rigs battery operated lamps and lights and whatever's uh in the description he did a tutorial video for us and then you can see on either side of the egg, I just put those two kind of concrete bunnies that I've had in my coffers. And then moving down, you can see that egg garland. And I'll talk more about that egg garland when I get over to my island. Uh, but I put two of them together and wrap some fairy lights around it. But I don't have the fairy lights on because, and I'll tell you about those in a little bit. But uh, the egg garland looks pretty up there, just incorporated in with the pip berry and green garland that we have up there. And then as you move down the shelves, you can see that I just added little bunnies here and there. This little blue and white with the beaded legs bunny. Anyway, you can see the gingham, blue and white gingham bunny there. And I'm just, as I said, I'm just plugging in Easter, just plugging in the bunnies here and there. And I did add those little eggs that I hauled last week. I added some of them there. And then there's that other little blue and white gingham bunny. And then remember this beautiful spode dish that Jill got me? It's just gorgeous. And then the rest of the eggs, this is the grass that came in with those eggs from Amazon. And I just took the grass and kind of put it right around this little trio that Miss Lisa got me of Ray Dunn. This is, you know, Roseberry Thyme and so on. And that's just how I dec had it decorated for my blue and white. And I just added the eggs. This is a real pretty little Jim Shore piece. I got that, I think I have that linked in my Amazon shop, as a matter of fact. And that about does it for this. Again, just plugging in Easter over here, just like I have been doing. But I kind of got a wild hair last <laughs> week, and I decided that I wanted to put a pink corner on this side of the house too. You know, I do my grandmother's hutch in pretty in pink. While well, as I was digging around in my bins downstairs, I found this spray that I had made a couple of years ago. This is not new. And I decided I wanted to use that. And then I remembered this big boxwood wreath that I had purchased from TJ Maxx a couple weeks ago. And I thought, wouldn't it be pretty to incorporate that spray on there? If, if I can I find can... a link for where I made that spray, I will be sure to put it in the description. Very easily done though, you guys. Also too, remember I was going to make an arrangement out of the bunny family? Well, I decided to use them over here, except for Daddy Bunny, who wouldn't fit. <laughs> he was too big. So I used Mama and the kids. Mama's in the middle there. I also used this little bunny that matches the eggs and just added some daisies in and added some pink florals in. And then this is another funky bow. That is a funky bow there. It's one of my funky bows. It's just a nine loop. Look how big and pretty a nine, just a nine loop funky bow can be. And then I believe that's a nine loop too, but it's only done with just the one ribbon. And then our sweet Lucy made me this heart, and she made me the blue one that's out in the, by the hearth too. Isn't it beautiful? So 
I wanted to incorporate that. So when I found the heart and I found this spray down in my bins, I said, I've, I wanna do a pink corner. So that's what I decided to do, a pretty and pink corner. And this sets off by itself and it still has some blue and white, you know, in it. And I think it goes together beautifully. I love it. Absolutely love it. I've had that uh, cross too. I've had that for several years. I got that at Hobby Lobby, just to tell you that. So that'll do it. I'm not gonna show you the uh, desk yet. I'll do that another day. But uh, I guess I can show you this crate here, these crates, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Just added those two muslin bunnies there. They're kind of burlap-y looking bunnies. That's all I did with that. All right. All right, I'm gonna head over to the island now and I will be right back in front of the camera in just a minute. <laughs> Be right back. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is from, from this moment on, a little bit of chitting and a little bit of chatting uh, and a little bit of answering of questions and uh, sharing of our time with little Mr. Maverick. Oh my goodness. And I've also got uh, three things to show you uh, and then two things to talk about, two separate subjects to talk about, and then we're going to get on to our questions, all right? First of all, I wanted to show you what finally came from QVC, uh, and that is these two little bunnies. <laughs> there they are. Aren't they cute? The little blue and white bunnies from Valerie Parr. Isn't that her name, I think? Valerie Parr. And from QVC, and they are super cute. Uh, me and my measuring, I thought they would be a little bit bigger, but they're not. And the, and as so as it turns out, these are perfect to sit on my credenza instead of on the mantle. I like what I have on the mantle on the mantle better. Uh, so they are super cute. I love them. So these uh, will flank the centerpiece. I have a question for you guys. I know you guys just had a blue and white home tour. I just gave you a blue and white home tour not long ago. I'm wondering if you want me to do another home tour where I show you how I've incorporated Easter. If so, let me know in the comments if you would like to see another home tour. I don't want it to be repetitious for you guys, you know. I try to keep, uh, you know, things new and, and different, but, you know, so let me know what you want to do with that. But I got these, the eggs that I ordered at the same, on the same day that I ordered these are still on back order with no end date in sight as to when they will become available. The day that they originally said that they would become available has come and well gone. So I'm not sure. I'm not canceling the order. So I figured they'll show up sometime. Even if it's after Easter, I'll be able to use them next year. So... Those are the bunnies that I had ordered and were waiting for from QVC though. And they're really pretty. I love them. I mean, they were worth the wait. They're really pretty. So also my, this is not exactly the same as the egg garland that I've been using. I thought it was when I looked at the picture, but when I got it here, it's not quite the same. It is still very pretty, uh, but the leaves are different, a bit of a different color and the stem is is not is brown on my other ones and not green uh, and these are not quite as full but it's pretty I mean they're pretty very very pretty and I have used them and one of you guys told me that they're now sold out so I may give you the link and you can go check if you're interested in these but uh, she told me that they were sold out so I don't know uh, they're at what was it sugar Sugar Magnolia, something like that. 
company. I will be using one of these in my lantern centerpiece, I believe. I'm gonna to try to incorporate one of these in. I think I'm gonna wrap some blue fairy lights around it, and I think that'll be really pretty there on my dining room table. But I'll do that in a video in the future. So I do have two left. I used two up there on the hutch. They're hanging up there on the hutch. And I did wrap what they called, I don't have any batteries in this, pastel, I had ordered pastel fairy lights. And when I got them, I'm a little bit disappointed because I don't really think of red as being part of an Easter color, especially in lights. Yes, if you have a red room and you're incorporating Easter in it, absolutely, I think that can be gorgeous. But red and blue and green lights, let me get some batteries for this and I'll show you what I mean. I was none too happy with it. And Chris and I had gotten it up there Saturday night and we are just not turning it on. I thought I said, well, I can pull it back down and wrap blue lights around it, which would be pretty. And we may do that, but we haven't done that yet. You all, we were tired and it was Saturday night and we were fixing to sit down and watch a movie. And we're, I'm like, just, just leave it. I just won't turn them on to show it. And I'll explain to the folks. So let me, let me go get some batteries. I'll be right back. These fairy lights are nice. They are like my white ones. You know, they come in the same type of box and they come with the same settings on them, you know. Might help to put it right side up for you guys, huh? They come with the same settings. But let me show you the color. And all of the colors were okay except for the red. The red to me, and I... Now, y'all, I know I'm picky. I know I'm super, super picky. And for some of you, these may work out beautifully and go for it if so. I'll try to remember to put a link in my description in the lights box of my uh, uh, Amazon shop. But y'all, the red pulled my eye terribly. So, so anyway, I wasn't too thrilled with this. So I will either just leave them all white like that or I will incorporate a set of my blue fairy lights that one of you told me about up there. So, but these I'm not gonna use because they're just not pastel -y enough. I would like the red to be pink, you know, and not red. This looks very Christmassy when it's up in that garland. Call me crazy, but it does. So there, I wanted to talk to you about that. Okay, uh, next I want to talk to you about Bobby over there at PerpetualRibbons.com. I got this from Bobby. Look at these beautiful blue and white spools of ribbon. But y'all, she sold out of these ribbons. She sold out of this type of ribbon, this blue and white. This is D. Stevens ribbon. She ran out of it, and she wanted me to tell you guys... Uh, she said, don't be mad because I sent you two rolls of the, of, I'm running out of it. I am out of it and it'll be a while before I see more. So that's why she sent me two. She says, I'm running out of it. And she said, I want you to have it because you do use it. And I'm like, oh my goodness. She was so sweet. And she said, don't be mad at her. Cause she knows I get on her. I said, don't send me stuff. You don't need to send me stuff. And she always wants to send me stuff because she feels like we do a lot for her, you guys. And she wants, to, and I'm like, I don't, I have never asked y'all. I have never once, never once asked her, nor do I ever expect anybody to send me anything. Honest to Pete, I do not. I absolutely do not. I do appreciate it, of course. I, of course I appreciate it. But I, uh, she sent me these two rolls of ribbon and she wanted me to let you all know that they're, she's out of it and Dee Stevens is not gonna be delivering it probably till June or July. So she wanted me to let y'all know that in person while I'm talking to you. So I thought I would just go ahead now today and let you know that, you know, if you are planning for something for this for the summertime decor or whatever, that it should be, and she said by June or July, let's say July, just in case, you know, it doesn't get here till July. So just wanted to let you know about that. It's gorgeous ribbon. And y'all, I just saw, that's what I just tied on that. And that little roll that I had there, that's the last of my, that's the last of what I had. So I do use it. I do use it all the time. So 
Anyway, I'm feeling guilty that she sent it to me. Can you tell? <laughs> anyway, all right. I have a, a several of you, a couple of you at least, have been asking me if I can show you how to make an arrangement out of a birdcage. And I knew that I had a birdcage here. I bought it a couple of years ago. I've had it. This isn't anything new. This isn't anything that you'd probably be able to find. I believe I got it from AC Moore before they closed, I think. Uh, but it is a little black uh, birdhouse. It's really cute. It unlatches up here. A little latch up here. And I will be making something for Easter out of this. I don't know where I'll sit it because everything's pretty much covered. I mean, you know, I've got everything in place pretty much, but uh, I'll put it somewhere. I'll set it somewhere. But this is a very pretty little, and it's not huge. It's not a huge birch cage, but hopefully you'll be able to get an idea. Also, I have um, an arrangement sitting here next to me that, I, that sits in our bedroom on top of a, a dresser that we have where I keep all of my table runners actually. And I just made this, I don't know, a year or so ago. And it has a bird cage in this tray design. So let me hold this up and show it to you. And as you can see, I made it in a blooper. I knew it was gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Sorry. <laughs> Got whacked on the head and in the nose. Anyway, oh my land. What a mess. So here it is. And uh, you can see I made it in a tray, but you can see the birdhouse in the back. And I didn't put anything except for foliage in the birdhouse. I did, I remember, I think, I remember when I did this, I had put a, a bird uh, in the birdhouse, but you couldn't see it. This one you'll be able to, you should be able to see, I'm gonna put a bunny in there, but you should be able to see the bunny. With this birdhouse, it just, so the reason I'm showing you this is, is be cognizant of when, of, of what you're using and if, and what you put inside of it. This is just like, it gives a nod to a, uh, a birdhouse, you know, more than it, uh, a, a bird could ever be seen in there, you know but it makes for a really cute arrangement. So if you have something like that, think about a tray arrangement. It's really super cute. So these were obviously very old candles that had been up against something pink. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would show you those couple of things. Let me, there we go. I took the headband out of my head. It whacked me in the head and whacked the headband into my head. So excuse my hair. I go Thursday to get my hair did. Can you tell? Man, oh man, I could use a little trim. I'm a mess here. I'm a hot mess today, aren't I? I'm all over the place, big bong and banging everywhere. So hopefully I'm not, I'm not confusing you too much. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to show you the tray arrangement so that you could get an idea. If, if you have a birdhouse that you really might not be able to see anything in, but you can still utilize it, you know. And then the black one, I'll do something with, like I said, later in the week. We'll maybe do something with that. All righty, you guys. I'm morphing in here with some footage. I, I was fixing to go into my final words and just realized that I hadn't even told you about our time with the kids yesterday and little Maverick. <laughs> what you doing? Come on up. Come on up. Oh, there you are. You did it. You did it! Yeah, buddy. Look how strong you are. Look how strong. Some of those pictures. So let me do that real quick here before we move on in the video. <laughs> he is a little doll baby. He's just turned eight months old at the end of February, February 26th. He was eight months old. He is pulling himself up. He is ready to take some steps, just about ready to take some steps. I am telling you. Also, he is, of course, the smilingest kid ever. He just never has a bad day. He's been, been sick. Maverick had been sick. I hadn't told you guys because I didn't want you guys to worry. I know you guys worry sick about things and about him. I know you would be. And he's okay. He's okay. But he was sick with RBS for a couple of weeks, really sick. Candace has been home with him for quite for quite a while now, uh, taking care of him. He was a sick little little pup, 
um, but he's doing much better now and was as happy as a clam yesterday. Uh, still a little bit of a runny nose now and again, but nothing like it was. Oh my goodness gracious, it was terrible. That is terrible stuff. Uh, but thank the Lord he's doing okay. <laughs> so grandma was worried about him. She was worried about him for sure, for sure. And worried about Candace staying, you know, because she was with him and she was taking such good care. She's like such a good mama and Dustin is such a good daddy. Oh, I cannot tell you. Those kids have really, really, really done a phenomenal job. Anyway, we walked in and I just looked at him and went, hey, Mav, and bing, he, it's like he, he recognized me already. At eight months old, I'm like, he should not be recognizing me really yet, should he? <laughs> I didn't even know. But I just got this biggest smile on his face and his little arms went up. He was standing over by their, uh, by their island on, on one of those uh, stools. And I walked over there and just picked him right up and he just nuzzled right down in my neck. Oh my goodness, I was just like, are you kidding me, Mav? <sighs> there's nothing like that, you guys. There's nothing like that feeling of your little grandbaby. I'm telling you, I love my kids. Oh my Lord, I love my kids. But Maverick, he's... <laughs> He's an amazing little fella. He's an amazing little fella. He's very good at engaging with his toys. He's very good at, at uh, oh my goodness, he's quick. He crawls, <laughs> we were laughing, he crawls with a purpose. His little hands, buddy, he gets going and then he gets a motor and right across the room. He is very agile, very strong in his little legs, smart as a whip. He turns the pages of the book as I'm reading. You know, I was reading him something yesterday, and he's turning the pages for me. I had a black Chris, you know, and he kept pulling at Chris's uh, goatee, kept pulling at He, It's like it's the first time he really noticed, like, Chris's goatee, you know? <laughs> and he was with his little hand, and he's like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> and Chris is like, hey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We had a wonderful time, and the kids served us, oh my land, this bo this seafood boil, uh, red crab, or uh, what were they, um, snow crabs, and then Dungeness crabs, and shrimp, and little corns on the cob, and uh, sausages, and little hush puppies. Lord have mercy, get the hush puppies away from our land, please. Uh, Chris and I have been doing very well on our diets in the last week or and a half or two weeks. Doing very well, um, staunchly back on them again, thank the Lord. And uh, actually, I got back into this outfit. I hadn't worn this since our cruising last year. So, I've lost a little bit enough. to. I tried to put this on a couple weeks ago, and it, boy, howdy, it was not very pretty. You all, today it, it looks okay. <laughs> and I'm like, thank goodness. So, uh but they fed us that. It was delicious. It was delicious. So I did, yes, we did splurge. Well, I splurged. Chris was really good. He didn't have any hush puppies. I had several hush puppies. And they were, that's not, boy, they're good. But uh, the rest of it, I just ate, you know, just the crab legs and the shrimp, pretty much. It was really good. And then I had a little corn. But very good. Very, very good. Bless their hearts. And here they come. Yeah, we're getting the seafood food boiled today. I'm like, you're doing what? Oh my goodness, you guys. And here it came. <laughs> we had a wonderful time. And I'm so grateful that he's doing okay. And that he's recovered, you know, from that. It was a nasty respiratory. Oh, it was nasty. So, anyway, okay, let me morph back out. <laughs> and I'll morph in and say my final words. Let me dry my eyes because, of course, I'm crying. Sorry for those who get annoyed. <laughs> Looks like I have one, two, three, four questions. Sorry, got a text. Okay, it looks like I have four questions. So let's see here. The first one is from Janice Holbrook. Arlen, I just wanted to know, since you are so beautifully dressed, oh, oh my goodness, makeup done, hair done. Oh, yeah, look at the hair today, huh? <laughs> oh, every day. I washed it today, and that's why it's looking so... I just don't like it the first day it's been washed, y'all. I just don't, especially when I need to be, it needs to be color. Yikes. Uh, anyway, Arlene, I just wanted to know, since you are so beautifully dressed, makeup done, hair done every day, do you ever spend days without makeup? 
and in your PJs. Janice in Atlanta. Well, Janice, I've answered this question before and I really don't, unless I'm really sick, unless I'm really sick with the stomach flu, pretty much. Uh, anything else, if I've got a cold or if I've got, you know, just, uh, you know, a headache or am sick in other ways like that, I, I do not, I still get my shower, I still do my hair, I still do my makeup. I still dress and it's it's not always fancily dressed, but you know, I, I do dress in something other than sweatpants and a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. On a snowy day, you might see me in a hoodie and you know, a pair of, maybe a pair of jeans if I have a pair that will fit me <laughs> or you know, a pair of black slacks or something like that, but really never sweats. I do have some really cute florally plants that I put on for my night nighttime clothes. Uh, like when I, when I get done here, uh, I will go and I will change into some more comfortable clothes, you know, and, but during the day, no, I get a shower every day. I don't wash my hair every day just because I like to try to take care of the color a little bit. Uh, but I do, uh, get a shower every day. I, I put makeup on every day. I put lipstick on every day. I make sure that I'm put together for the day. And for me, I'm not saying that everybody needs to do this, but for me, it makes me feel better when I, you know, when I pull myself together like that. Uh, I really can probably count on one hand, and those are the times that I was sick through the years with my kids. You know, every time my kids got the stomach flu, I got the stomach flu. Uh, that I hadn't, haven't been dressed in my, you know, whatever I'm gonna be dressed in that day. You know, and when I was in the 80s and 90s, it was jeans and, you know, whatever shirt. Now I wear mostly black slacks or black ankle pants or capris and black or blue and sometimes white and red. And I do have a pair of purple ones like I have on today. You know, so I just, I, I just think it's important for me to do. And that comes from my mom, I guess, and, and how she raised me. And she was always like that. She was always like that on the weekends, even when she was cleaning, she was, you know, she might've been in something uh, not as nice as her school clothes. She was a teacher, but she still was dressed, you know, kind of nice, you know, no, I don't dress up and do my vacuuming and stuff like this, but I don't, you know, I would if I like took the scarf off, took the jacket off. Yeah, I clean like that. So unless I'm doing something with Clorox, then I'm, then I'm careful, you know, but. But anyway, yep, yeah, that's it. That's what I do every day. I know. <laughs> okay, number two, uh, Tanya Brady. Tanya or Tanya Brady, I'm not sure which one. Uh, it looks beautiful. What is the little house structure on the floor next to the ivy table? Well, that is right here. Let me see if I can turn my camera a little bit here and show you. It is a birdhouse. She's talking about that piece right there. It is a birdhouse that I got from the Minuteman Mini Mall. And it, uh, Chris had to fix it actually. I bought it there and one of the lights was broken and he actually had to put the light back together and fix it. But yeah, it's, uh, I didn't pay, but maybe $20 for it. That's what it is, it's a big little thing. That's what that is, yeah. Okay, number three is from Acorn and Oak and this is Gareth. This is our sweet friend, Gareth. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, Lynn. Uh, he looks so happy sitting there amongst all that foliage. I think he's talking about the, the bunny and the dough bowl there. What a happy chappy. <laughs> uh, so happy to hear you and Chris have not had any side effects and continue to stay well. Huge hugs. I'll get back to that in a second. Yes. I have a question. Now that you have chosen, now that you have a cohesive decor throughout, would you, are you possibly thinking of taking it into the laundry room? You know what, Gareth, I have thought about it, but uh, probably not unless I just incorporate some blues in there. I love the butternut color of the wall in there in my laundry room. And uh, it's the curtains are definitely not, not conducive to a blue and white decor theme in there, but I love those curtains. And I just don't want to take them down yet. You know, I really just do love them. I've had them up for seven years and love them as much today as I did the day I put them up. So probably not anytime soon. That that room is behind that door right there. And it is separate from the rest of the house. 
and I really love it as we've decorated it. It's kind of different with the butternut and the, you know, the kind of terracotta color floor and cream colored cabinets and all that. I really like it. So probably not. Wouldn't it be pretty to pull that decor throughout though, huh? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. We're not going there. <laughs> oh my goodness. But probably not, Gareth. Oh, you never know what I'll come up with though next. I don't know. Okay, number four is from Jody's Cozy Cottage. And you guys, I'm sure went over there to visit with Jody. Uh, last week I gave her a shout out and Jody's a new YouTuber. If you haven't been over there to see Jody, go over, take, give her a visit, give her a, sh you know, to tell her I sent you, give her a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, and she said, hi, Erlen, I hope you are still feeling no side effects and all is well. I adore that bunny with the blue bow there in my dough bowl. I have a question for one of your future Q&A sessions. It has two parts. What is your favorite holiday or season to decorate? And she said, this year I am really enjoying the spring decorating. Also, what is your favorite holiday? Also, thank you again for my shout out for my channel. You have the kindest heart and it shines through on all of your videos all. Have a wonderful night, take care. Well, Jody, I hope you had a wonderful night too. I'm thinking this was probably Friday evening that you wrote this. <laughs> Uh, and of course you're welcome for the shout out and hopefully this one that I just gave you again, will send even more over to you, more, some more subscribers over to you. Um, uh, my favorite holiday or season to decorate is Christmas. Without a doubt, I don't even have to hesitate. I love fall too. And I do love spring. I love spring because of all the lighter and airier colors and the pinks and the, you know, the pastel -y colors. I love all that. Um, you know, I'm such a girly girl that I just love all that. Like that corner shelf over there, I really enjoy doing that. You know, bringing back out that spray, it was super pretty. So, uh, I love spring, but Christmas, without a doubt, hands down, is my favorite one for the re because of the reason for the season. Because Jesus was born, you know, and that he is the reason for the season. So, I, I like that the best because of that first. And then, because I have spent years and years and years uh, gathering my Christmas decorations, uh, and then when we moved into this house, I spent even more time gathering more to fill up the spaces in this house and uh, to bring it all together into a red and white decor on this side, and then the other side is, a, is kind of like you all know, blue and, blue and white and silver over there. But hands down, Christmas. Absolutely, without a doubt, Christmas uh, is my favorite holiday to decorate. And that is my favorite holiday. I love Christmas, again, for the reason for the season. Again, it gives us, you know, our family time to gather, time to spend time with one another. We have not had enough time to gather this year, y'all. We have not had enough time to gather. We did not gather my, well, my extended family, my, my immediate family was able to gather on Christmas Eve. But part of my family that we always get together with Stacy, my cousin, my first cousin, and her family, we could not, we could not get together this Christmas. So, Hopefully, and it was supposed to be at Stacy's house uh, this year. So she's like, I want to do over. I want to get to do it. Because I said, can I, can I host next year? She says, no, I didn't get to host this year. So your last year. So I get to host. I want to host. I want to do over. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it looks like Stacy's going to host again in 21. Bless her heart. So, uh, but anyway, there, that's all the questions that I have. And uh, to, to reiterate about the virus, Chris and I did not have any problems in the world whatsoever. We really didn't. I was super sleepy on Friday night, uh, just like I could have just taken a nap. But, you know, I had hurt my eye with that mascara. Oh, man, boy, howdy. I threw that stuff away. And, it's, it was, and I washed my eyes out and it got, well, I took some Advil. I honestly, I put, took some Advil because my eye was just bugging me, both of my eyes, but my right eye more than my left was bugging me. And once I took two Advil and, and just sat with my eyes closed for a little while, that really helped. But that stupid mascara, boy, howdy, I had an allergic reaction to that. 
So that was probably why I felt that way. But then, you know, you're sitting there, you're going, well, I wonder if this is the, because I had the vaccine. I wonder if I'm feeling sleep extra sleepy or whatever because of the vaccine. I have no idea, y'all. I didn't feel bad in any other way. I didn't have a runny nose. I didn't have, my arm didn't hurt. I didn't have a headache. I didn't have flu symptoms. Didn't have a fever. Didn't have any of that. Nothing, 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 nothing. And went to bed Friday night, got up Saturday morning, felt like, you know, a million bucks, which I felt like Friday morning before I put the mascara on. <laughs> and Thursday morning before I put the mascara on. Ugh. And Chris comes out in the kitchen and he said, he's allergic to the story for you squirrel. <laughs> he's allergic to peanuts, but every now and again, he'll get himself a handful of peanuts. And I'll go, Chris, why are you eating peanuts? When you know you're allergic to peanuts, why are you eating peanuts? Oh, well, they taste so good. And they're this and they're that. And I just, you know, I just wanted a handful and they'll get to feeling bad later. And I'm like, you have that, those peanuts, you shouldn't have those peanuts, you know? And he goes, I know. So I come out in the kitchen after I was done because I tell you, I turned off my video and I ran to the bathroom to wash my eyes out. I could barely keep my eyes open at the end of that video. I was, they were so bad. And I'd run to the bathroom to wash my eyes out. And I came back out and he goes, you all right? And I said, yeah, I said this mascara, I, I, I've had an aller allergic reaction to it. And he goes, oh, he said, you sound like somebody I know who might come out in the kitchen and get a handful of peanuts, knowing full well they're allergic to them. He said, Arlene, you know you're allergic to makeup. He said, why did you even buy it? And I'm like, well, I didn't think it would get on my skin if I just did the, you know, the mascara. He goes, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and he was right. I should have never bought it. Should have never bought it. So anyway, but I feel great. I feel great. I'm fully vaccinated now. And CDC just came out with some new regulations or new what guidelines today for those who have been vaccinated. So check those out if you haven't, you know, so... But anyway, that's it, I guess, for this one, you guys. I really don't have much else to, to share with you. Keep the questions coming if you want. Wednesday, I'll be back probably. You know, I'm, I'm running low on content, I will tell you. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to have three videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week. And uh, I'll do, you know, I'll do the, I'll gather up some stuff here in my house. I'm not going to go buy anything, but I'll gather up some stuff here, you know, to put in the, birdcage there. I'll do that and uh, reveal the top of the desk and whatever I do in the powder room. I haven't done anything in there and I don't, I'm not planning on a lot in there. And then after that, we'll move into the uh, dining room and I'll probably reveal the, that hutch uh, on Friday and maybe do that lantern, like I said, using this, you know, and wrapped in some blue fairy lights that I think that'll be really pretty out there and see what I can do with that lantern to bring a little bit of Easter in to that lantern. So we'll probably do that on Friday. So keep the questions coming and I'll always have a little chit chat session after I reveal whatever decor. Thank you guys so much for understanding about me not doing decorate with me so much. I will do it with the lantern, you know, and I did it with the dough bowl, of course, you know, and I'll do this birdcage on, on camera too, but I'm not doing big vignettes, you know, you know, like the hutch and the, uh, and the corner cabinet and stuff. So I appreciate you guys understanding that I, I'm kind of, you know, taking it a little easier here on my channel since I worked so hard with uh, fall Christmas and then putting everything back to blue and white just a couple of weeks ago. So I very, very much appreciate that. So Okie dokie, you guys, let me go into my final words here and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.